Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers, my sisters, this is the third boost for the month of Ramadan to encourage us to do the right things, to try and understand what is being recited in Salatul Taraweeh in the evenings, to improve ourselves, to develop the taqwa and the God consciousness that is the whole essence of this beautiful month of Ramadan and the fasting. So my brothers and sisters, I've just come from Masjid al-Nabawi after the third or the completion of the third taraweeh. This evening, the Imam read some beautiful verses, but these verses are connected to something people don't like to talk about. The verses connected to talaq or divorce in Islam. Islam is the only religion that gives you three chances, subhanallah, which means if you don't get along and you really feel like you cannot live with one another, then Allah tells you how to separate in a way that he still gives you time to reconcile within that period. If you were to reconcile, it's okay. If the period passes and you haven't reconciled, then Allah Almighty says, well, you can part your ways, you can go your own different directions and you can marry whomsoever you wish besides the person who you were married to. And if ever you want to come back to the person, you simply need to officiate a new marriage or what we call a nikah and you will be back together again because you only separated once, you only divorced once. But if, for example, you happened to make up during that period and you got back again together and mashallah, everything worked, alhamdulillah, it was good for you. You were given a chance and guess what? It worked for you. That's what Allah Almighty says, that there is a possibility that after you didn't get along, he can create within your hearts love that is unprecedented like never before. Then Allah Almighty says, well, if for the second time you still didn't get on after some time trying to reconcile and you didn't get on, you happen to separate through the pronunciation of one talaq for the second time, so it becomes two. Then Allah Almighty says, we still give you another chance and we give you a period of time within which you may reconcile once again. And if you do reconcile in that period of time, Allah Almighty says, well, that's good for you, isn't it? Subhanallah, it was Allah who created that connection once again and the ability to reconcile and perhaps better than ever before. May Allah grant us good marriages. I mean, but Allah Almighty says, if you've separated once with the pronunciation of what is known as a talaq, and then you separate a second time with the pronunciation of what is known as a talaq, and both times you reconcile the third time that this happens, there is no reconciliation permissible. What needs to happen, you need to realize you guys are just not getting along. It's about time you went your own ways and you married someone else. So that's what Allah Almighty tells us. Now, in the interim, Allah addresses the parents and the guardians of those who, are, uh, who have just divorced. And Allah says, if they have separated for the first time or the second time, Allah Almighty says, do not stop them from getting back to each other. If the two of them would like to get back to each other. Many times parents say, don't go back to him. Don't go back to her. It's okay. It's over. It's done. We don't want... If the two of them would like to get back and there was only one talaq or two, they may get back. Do not stop them. Allah says, don't prohibit them from getting back to each other. Similarly, Allah Almighty says, don't hold a woman back in order to punish her. There are some people who just don't pronounce the talaq, for example. Allah warns them and says, if you're doing that to punish her or to fix her, Allah says, we will fix you, subhanallah. At some point in your life, you will taste the venom of your own poison, Allahu Akbar, your own deeds. How? Because you did a very bad deed. So some of this is mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Nisa. May Allah Almighty grant us from His goodness. So this in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah speaks about what, what we are saying today. And over and above that, Allah Almighty then tells us that, you know what, if three talaqs have happened and you haven't managed to reconcile the first two times, the third time you marry someone else. Thereafter, if you've been in another marriage and you realize, you know what, this is even worse than the one I was in first. Then Allah says, you're allowed to go back after a normal natural divorce. When I say natural divorce, I mean without the interference of your ex-spouse. If a divorce happened thereafter from your second spouse, you may go back to your first spouse because you will now appreciate your first spouse 
because you've, not, you've been in a situation far worse than what you were in. That's the whole idea of three talaqs in Islam. It's not in order to rattle out the three talaqs in order to get rid of a woman. No, that is sinful. It is very sinful and dangerous. It is wrong and forbidden. You're only ever allowed to issue one at a time. And that too, after that, you're supposed to try to reconcile if possible. If not possible, no problem. But for as long as you've tried. So talaq or divorce is permissible in Islam as a last resort. And Allah says, Tilka hududullah fala ta'taduha. These are the limits of Allah. Don't cross them. The boundaries that Allah has sent. Do not play with what Allah has made sacred. Do not you know, threaten people with divorce all the time. Do not threaten people with something dangerous, something like this. So I thought I'd just share this with you in today's boost in order for us to realize that Allah Almighty is the one. He is the giver of happiness. He is the giver of goodness. And at the same time, there is a possibility you may not get on with each other. It's not the first divorce. It will not be the last divorce. So it's not something that you need to get angry about. If you tried your best and it's your last resort, no problem. You've parted ways on condition that you did so, fearing Allah, conscious of the relationship with Allah. Inshallah, you'll have a better life thereafter. But if you did so without having tried, or you did so not as a last resort, or you did so just as a pastime and a joke, or you did so without actually fearing Allah and without fulfilling the rights after divorce, then it's not going to be an easy path ahead. It's going to be extremely difficult. At times people say being divorced is more difficult than being married. So consider that. Yes, it is. And then you need to realize if there are children involved, you're going to have to surrender to the rule and the law of Allah regarding those children, come what may. No mudslinging. We need to understand these children need to be nurtured in the pleasure of Allah. These children need to be nurtured in the obedience of Allah. Be taught good morals, values and connection with Allah Almighty. May Allah make it easy for all those who are struggling in their marriages. May Allah grant you the ability to reconcile in this beautiful night of Ramadan, in this beautiful month that is so blessed during the fasting and the recitation of the Quran and so much in terms of act of worship. May Allah make it easy for everyone. Those who are struggling, may Allah grant you solution. Those who have gone through divorce, may Allah grant you the best of the future. Don't give up. Allah's doors will fling wide open for you. Bear patience. Keep trying. Do the right thing. Build your link with Allah. Rely on Allah Almighty. Those who are struggling in any way across the globe, in anything, we ask Allah Almighty to grant you ease and goodness. Those who've passed on tonight or last night or whenever, may Allah grant them Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah grant them paradise and forgiveness. May Allah make it easy for the rest of the families who have lost loved ones or who have suffered any form of loss. May Allah recompense pens us with goodness aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabiyyina muhammad